Against Daniel Pineda, Emmanuel Sanchez showed why he had beaten Justin Lawrence, why he had beaten Henry Corrales. He sets a pace fighters just can't keep up with. Whenever you watch Emmanuel Sanchez, just forget the first round. Delete it. Go past it, fast forward it, whatever you have to do. It doesn't matter. Pineda started out strong. Emmanuel Sanchez never got bothered, never got panicked, never doubted himself. He goes at the pace in the first minute of the first round that he finishes with at the end of the third round. It doesn't matter. He comes at you, punches, kicks. If it doesn't work, he knows you can't keep up with him. Fighters think they have him at the end of round one. They think they're doing great, they're landing everything. It's just a matter of time. And then they realize halfway through round two that they're running out of gas. And Emmanuel Sanchez has the same look on his face that he did in the first minute of the first round, and guys mentally break. That's how he beat Pineda, that's how he beat Lawrence, that's how he beat Corrales. And he's a guy you can hit with a two by four, and he's gonna still come at you. He is very proud that he fights Mexican style. I'll take three to give one, but my one is gonna hurt you more than your three. That's what makes him fun to watch, and that's what makes him so dangerous at 145 pounds.